so I just wanted to share a quick story today on how we don't buy every single house. So uh, earlier this week, I went and met with uh, two sisters and a brother who's um, mother passed away and they inherited this home and they were getting ready to sell it. And they felt that the home was in really bad condition and they knew that the only person who was going to buy this type of house was probably an investor. They were going to have to kind of fire sell it because it was in such bad shape unless they wanted to spend the time and money to fix it up. And basically, um, I went through the home and I found that the home was actually in great shape. In my personal opinion, as I walked through the house, I was like, guys, this house is actually in really good shape. I think where you guys are making a mistake on um, this home not being as nice as you're saying it is, or you, you, you know, being not as nice as you guys think it is, is that there was a lot of clutter throughout the house. Years and years of stuff that you know, mom had accumulated before she passed away, and it was just all over the place. It was all over the place. So you walked in, and it looked like it was filled with, you know, good stuff and, and basically junk, a lot of junk. And so I, I shared with him, you know, I think your house is in great shape. I mean, if we can look past all this junk, you know, the kitchen's in good shape, it's a little dirty, bathroom's in good shape, it's a little dirty and a little dated, but it's in good shape. Um, I think what you guys should do is just basically empty out the house first. And then from there, make any decisions, let's revisit this conversation later. So that is what we did. You know, they wanted to sell the house in its as-is condition. To them, everything in the house was junk. They wanted to sell it that way. They didn't, want to, they didn't feel like they wanted to take everything out. And they wanted to sell it to an investor who was going to be happy to buy it with all the junk in there, which I would have been. But I honestly felt that they could have done uh, by simply removing that junk, which is free. I mean, maybe the cost of a dumpster. Um, they could see past all that junk and how nice their house really actually was. So, uh, long story short, we revisited this particular situation and they now, that now that they can see that the house is in beautiful condition, uh, behind all that junk, you know, what that junk was hiding, they, they now agree with me that the house is in great shape. So actually what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to be listing it for them uh, instead, of, instead of buying it off of them. So by listing it for them, I'm able to, by simply just kind of giving them some recommendations on a couple little things to touch up around the house, uh, small little repairs, nothing major, nothing that's gonna kill the bank, but some small repairs that they're gonna do in the home, we're gonna be able to get them a lot more money. So by uh, just sharing some advice with them on getting rid of all of the junk, getting a dumpster there, throwing it all away, and then making some minor repairs around the house, uh, their house is going to be in great shape when it hits the market and they're going to get a lot more money um, and so I wanted to share that story because we don't always buy every single house we are happy to help in any way we can if we don't buy the house we're happy to advise and solutions um, and so if you've got a problem you know a property pro a property a problem property that you want to just chat with in regards to you know asking someone some uh, some questions Hey, please feel free to give us a call. We would love to chat with you anytime.